What is up, breadwinners? Thank you for pressing play on this video. I am so grateful you, that you're here. My name is Jenny Hanson Lane. I'm an author. Am I an author? That is so funny. The whole reason I started KDP last year was to publish this book. I have a course based off authenticity, and so I knew that I wanted to write, and so I started the process, and then I found all of you beautiful people, and I started learning about KDP and building an additional passive income based off of low content. And I have those low content bones in my body. I like being creative. So this past year I've, I've documented the process and my book was done around September. And I just kept thinking like, I should add this, I should add that. And then I just decided like, I need to just get it out there. So this week I launched it and I'm sharing some of you have asked. I'm sure. And I also told myself I would document the process lessons of launching, uh, you know, a, a number one new release. I wasn't sure that I could do that, but I wanted to show you what I did. So, um, when you release a book, you can do the Kindle. You're just uploading a PDF or EPUB to Amazon and Amazon has actually messed up my Kindle version. And they still, they got back to me yesterday and they said, we'll resolve this in three to five business days. And that feels like a really long time because five business days is like two weeks, right? No, five business days, three to five. It could be over a weekend, right? Especially with the holiday and especially with Amazon, they're wanting to, I don't know. I'm just on their timeline. That's just what it is, right? So I appreciate everybody that bought the Kindle and I am working with Kindle to reformat it so it works. My manuscripts look fine. So that was a learning curve. That was a learning curve for me where I didn't know what to expect. And maybe in the future, I would make sure all that looked fine before I announced it. But you don't know if you can get people to download and buy the pre-sell that helps you in your rankings. So it's kind of like now, I mean, I don't know, hopefully it doesn't ever happen again, uploading the Kindle that, um, you know, wasn't formatted correctly. I really don't know how to fix that in the future because my manuscripts look great and my paperback, I got it in the mail. It looks great. So it's the same manuscript. So anyways, I have since downloaded Kindle create and I'm going to start putting it in there before I upload it. I didn't know that was an option, but one of my KDP friends <laughs> told me that. So Anyway, so I priced it at 99 cents um, and a lot of ways that that self-publishers rank is by doing free book promotion. That's FBP. And that's when you're able to make your book zero dollars and you have to enroll it in KDP Select. I didn't know that because it was my first time launching. I'm a very like, let's go. I just went with it. Right. And you guys all went with me and I'm so grateful for each of you, especially those that downloaded it and are planning on buying the paperback. That means so much to me. So it's price. It was priced at 99 cents and I was like, okay, let's go. I, and, and because I priced it at 99 cents, it, it gives you, it lets you do pre-sales, right? So that's what I started doing. I emailed my list. And I started putting on social media that the book was dropping December 3rd. At the time of this video, we are two days later. Okay. So it's now December 5th. So I was able to get 140 pre-sales from my email list and my social media. And you guys know that I do digital marketing. So, um, I was able to talk about it and just share the experience and, it's really interesting when you're very authentic with people. Some people don't think that it's authentic or real, but those of you that have gotten to know me over the master classes that we've done or my YouTube channel, or you've known me before I did KDP, you know that this is a big part of who I am, the transparency and the honesty. That is just, I will die on that hill. That's very important to me. And, um, it's a big part of my identity to be my, you know, anyway. So in my emails, I talked about like, about, I emailed my list about like, 
oh, I accidentally made this 99 cents versus, you know, the free book promotion. So there was a learning curve. Usually you get to a number one new release or <clears throat> by doing a free book promotion, but I did it opposite, not knowing. So I just marketed it more. That's where this, the social media came in. Right. So, and that's when it started to rank. That's where it started to, you know, three or four days, I was number one in new release. And so that communicates to the algorithm to keep the book there, to show it to other people. And when I, so when I wanted to write this book a couple of years ago, I had people tell me that teaching authenticity is not really a thing that I should do in the digital marketing world. You like teach sales funnels or automation or social media and like authenticity is not really like its own category. So I kind of allowed other people to dictate my decisions, which is like so ironic, right? Because authenticity is doing what you believe regardless of what other people think. So there was a lot of things I had to get through and I continually researched with the KDP tools of Bookbeam, Publisher Rocket, and I had already written this book by the time I learned about Bookbolt. So, um, but I have since used Bookbolt when this became a number one bestseller to pull out more keywords for ads. So I've, I've used all these things. So I, I knew that authenticity is a validated niche, but how deep, I don't know that because it's not really a marketing category or do you know what I mean? It's more like self-help and personal development <clears throat> part of me. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with my first book being something on my heart that happens to be validated. I mean, I have a course on this, so it's something I care about. I, it, I want to also attract people, <clears throat> part of me that want to be authentic. So if people don't want to be authentic, like they might actually even view this as inauthentic, how much I share with you guys. And I'm okay with that. Everyone's on their own journey, right? Like, look at this book. That's it's the road. You're on your own journey. There's leaves all over the ground. Like there, there's a season of dying. If you've read my book, my first chapter, you learn about some serious grief that I still deal with. So I validated the niche. So <clears throat> I think that helped in the ranking. And then I turned on ads. So I uploaded everything. Um, and it went, it went live around November 30th and the first, but the ebook came out December 3rd. So I have ads on, I've been having ads on for six days and I don't have any sales from ads. And, um, you may have seen my post on YouTube, my screenshot. Some days I get zero sales, but it, it evens out on all of the other data. So I'm working on scaling this and I don't know if it will do well, but I'm going to let you guys follow the journey. And I would also like to disclose that when you run ads for high content, you pay more per click. So this already, this isn't an empty niche and I'm not creating a niche. There is business books about authenticity out there. And so I might have to pay to play to get my book in front of people. So while I am willing to share the strategies that I learn for ads with low content, I will have to develop strategies for high content. And as a business entrepreneur, like I believe in books. I love reading books. I will probably start working on another book. I have a couple ideas. And so where I'm at right now is creating an outline that's somewhat niche validated for the next topic. And so if you're interested in following that journey, just say, yeah, let's go high content, you know? Um, and I have, I've told you about previously trying to hire ghostwriters for different topics. I have a big list and some of the books just 
weren't great. They haven't, I haven't published them yet because I am not an expert on the topic, so I wouldn't put them under my name. So there's just this whole world that I'm getting to know. So if you have any questions about this launch right now, we're at a BSR, we're doing okay. We're under, um, 200 and in, I think the paperback might be lower, maybe 55. I think our lowest we got to was 30 BSR. And that is not my best selling book. My low content have done lower, but I'm still so grateful. I'm still so grateful. So I think that in the future, I'll be able to put together a launching strategy for people that want to do this. But I also feel that I'm in the middle of it, figuring it out and bringing you guys along for the ride. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope you guys are having an incredible week. Love you. Peace out.